is it adding everything okay hello dot html file added and classes added from classes hello world dot class file added and libraries we don't have any library so that no library here and one web dot xml file also added okay so once again redeploy it just i'll clean up this web apps folder once again okay so here just if you want to go through eclipse what you should do go through file new create a dynamic web project you need to create a dynamic web project dynamic web project name it hello world and you need to check your Scarlet version and a tomcat version tomcat 6 i am using here so browse your tomcat 6 location it's a d drive under tomcat folder under apache tomcat 6 okay now hello world application it will create okay now copy paste all the same things here okay already we have developed application here right so go to your web.xml file copy this web.xml file content into here web.xml file here also we have one web.xml file right keep the same content here in between web app and web app you can keep the same content okay it is fine yeah xml fine is fine then classes we have one hello world class copy this class keep it here go to src folder paste it under src so hello world class also fine and the next html page so here we have hello html copy this hello html where we need to create html on web content new html file file name hello dot html keep your hello html content here that's it yeah everything is fine that's it just right click on your application run it on server finish already we, run, we are running here right just close it then you can start it we should not run same server two times if you run something server binding or jvm binding exceptions you will get now this is my page okay this is my page hello world then you can copy this url into any browser okay now enter something here click hello finally the output we are getting from our Sarlet class okay so whatever the action path we have here hello the same action path we should maintain under web.xml file to map to your servlet class okay here by using the same name your tomcat container what it will try to do when you submit this form if it contains hello for that hello whatever the servlet you configured here that servlet class it will request then your servlet class in your servlet class which methods you are implementing for the user we have a service method in that service method we are trying to sending some hello output here what we are doing first we are reading our parameter and we are creating one output object for that output object we are adding some println statement so finally that statement here it is printing to us okay fine and along with this parallel you need to know validations also here we should do validations we don't have any validations for this form right so if i submit it directly what happens simple hello it is showing but where is my validation you need to apply validations right so parallel along with the servlets i'll show you javascript also here javascript and ajax so instead of learning that one again separately 
we can go through it i mean together if you go then easily you can understand all the things okay so already we have bootstrap and uh, we have some jquery examples right so i'll add that bootstrap and jquery here already we have here okay copy this bootstrap keep it in your application bootstrap for what we should use displaying error messages toasters okay copy bootstrap library here not bootstrap nothing but here it will maintain some css and javascript files okay those javascript and css files will help us to display error messages and for doing validations okay now apply validations to your hello form how we can apply validation here first we need to do what we need to import script here right which script jquery script here so how we can add that jquery script here see jquery script src google apis ajax libraries jquery 1.11.2 add this javascript it will load javascript but you need to have internet connection okay or else you can download it directly without having internet connection also you can use okay so jquery imported here using jquery now we can apply validations we know how to apply validations on document ready function open a simple script tag right in between script and script there is one on document ready function on the document ready function if you don't know you no need to worry just you just go through examples okay it is ui part it is not servlet part okay so here on document ready just if you want to read your variable data what you should do your variable id you need to pass here my variable id do i have any id i don't have any id just i have name keep one id here id name also you can put p1 now by using this p1 you can read your value p1 dot value so it will return us one value variable variable p1 value it will return to us now you can write condition here like java if p1 double equal to empty string you can send a error message how we can send there is one toaster add that toaster here toaster please enter name that's it combination both are in combination itself okay so i given one example also right for this toaster yeah that's it already we have toaster dot error toaster dot success okay this one is which one warning or error you can say this one as a warning so the method what we should use toaster dot warning please enter valid name that's it and you just return false false means it will not execute your form in case if you return true i mean without returning anything also if you keep it as it is then it will do what it will try to send empty name to the user okay return false in case of warnings that's it now again reload your form into browser still
so check whether it is loading or not write a simple alert I think we need to redeploy it. Yeah, we need to redeploy. If you make any changes, you better to clean your project and redeploy it again. Okay. Still not showing. You better to clean the project. Click on your project. Click clean. Okay. Then once again you can redeploy. And you better to delete your browsing history from the page. And once again reload it so the previous catch it will remove again it will load your javascript and you need to check one more thing here is javascript option enabled or not you need to check here i think script script enabled Bootstrap URL not required for this example also we didn't mention any URLs. Okay. Even bootstrap URLs if you have here also again the issue is what on submit directly to sending your data to server that is the problem actually here then what we should do here we need to call on submit okay uh, don't confuse here later you can understand form id form i have here for complete form form submit form on submit function this one is so when you submit your form then it will execute it so here also hash p1 yeah now it is fine still okay we'll show you these validations tomorrow okay yeah thank you